Hi, this is Mohan, this is Technologies Chennai. I'm going to explain now how our fully automatic water well controller functions in the actual field. This is the unit which we are going to discuss. See, this is having, it's a fully automatic controller. Uh, this is a unit, basic unit model, suitable for monoblock, jet pumps and submersible pumps, and which you can easily integrate uh, with your existing control panel. And we have another uh, two, three models, which you can use it for uh, only for submersible pump, which is having a built-in timer and controller. And another model for three-phase motor applications with the same type of controller built-in. And we have one more controller for areas where we have less water in bore well, where we want to switch on at repeated intervals. We have cyclic timer based uh, water level controller, which is in another model. Now let us see first the function of the unit along with the one simulator which we have connected here just to represent the overhead tank and the sump. Let us see now we will switch on the unit. In this now water level in the upper head tank is a less than high level but it is more than low level. Motor is running now when you switch on the power and you pumping the water. As the water touches the upper limit, the motor will switch off. See, you can switch off water level touches the upper limit, the motor gets switched off. Once the water level get discharged, uh, comes down, then you can see the LED comes on as the water level comes down. And when it reaches this lower limit, and uh, this lower limit, it will switch on this motor. Okay, now it is off. Now, meanwhile, this unit is having other built-in functions like high and low voltage cutoff and dry run facilities. Now you see water is coming down. Once it reaches this limit, water will come on automatically. It is about, about to come, reach the lower limit. You see here. It switches on. See, you can switch it on. Water is on now. Now, in the water again, what is flowing to the upper tank? Now, suppose you want to switch on the motor even when the water in the overhead tank is off way because some, sometimes you will have a scheduled power cut. So, in that case, you simply press this button once, then motor will switch on, and you will see here water is pumping to the system. Okay. So, in this way, the unit will switch on the motor and water will flow to the overhead tank. When the water level reaches the upper limit, it will automatically switch off the motor. And uh, let us see how and low and high voltage is works in this unit. Now, voltage is normal. Let us see why I am reducing the voltage. Okay. Now, let's see low voltage. Motor gets switched off and uh, with the indication of high low voltage and it will not switch on the motor which is to just to protect the pump from the power voltage and high voltage and you have a manual and auto switch and uh, yeah, if you don't want the unit to operate to any maintenance work or something you can simply put it in manual mode everything will get switched off so you will see you in the next video how to install this unit thank you